Hello, good morning. I just was watching a video um, that my brother sent me, um, kind of an internal critique from Israel. So a couple guys who live in Tel Aviv um, have YouTube, and I'll link it below. So they were doing um, a YouTube video after their going to a um, anti-genocide protest in Tel Aviv, which they said more than 100 people attended, which is more than they usually get. But in the middle of the video, they got to a really important point, which is that the global, you know, I mean, we'll just, I, I think I can safely say the United States, right, has as a government, but also as citizens, individual citizens, we have a responsibility to speak out against this and do anything we can because this government is the, is, is fueling the fire. And when you look into the history, um, you can find out more about it, but all we really need to know is that the, the weapons that are being used against Palestinians, both in Gaza and in the West bank are coming from the U S and the, the propaganda, the 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 religious bizarreness that is going on, um, it is very tied to the U.S. and um, it reminds me of how when people say, "Oh, well, it's because Netanyahu's weird," or when Biden says it's because Netanyahu's weird, or something like that, which I don't think Biden even believes, but you know, he says that. Um, or when we even say Biden's weird, it's like it's very important to actually just take personal responsibility um, for what we can do, because it reminds me of how um, when I looked a little bit into the history of World War II, which the U.S. is so anxious to be like, oh, the U.S. was such a good guy there. The eugenics philosophy um, and science um, came, came from the U.S. The, Germany was using um, ideas um, and papers that had been written in the U.S. about the idea that one one person is better than another um, on a on a on a, you know, empirical level um and of course that's a horrible idea and it's also really horrible that in all of these years since the holocaust the u.s hasn't been taking the time to look at its own incredible culpability with that where even after the war u.s did not accept jewish people here but rather sent them to a place where there are already people living to repeat the atrocities that had already happened here in the U S against native Americans. So it's really beyond time to stop the blame game of pushing it onto someone else and really look at our own responsibility and, um, the dire nature that both the Palestinians and Israelis are in where uh, obviously, um, much more extreme for the Palestinians. I mean, I can't even, words can't even, it's, it is literally hard to imagine what is going on there. Although you can watch videos of it. Um, uh, so, you know, extermination of your people and also extermination of your humanity in a very real way. But I think that, um, in this video that I was just watching from the two, one of them calls himself Palestinian because he's, his heritage is largely from the Levant, which I guess refers to Syria and the larger area there in the Middle East, as well as Palestine. Um, and the other man doesn't say anything, but I assume he considers himself Israeli, but they are both um, very anti-genocide and anti the capitalism that is just using people for profit. Because I was trying to figure out why is it that literal animals that were having this done to them would have more outcry from the global community and the leaders and just everyone, just man on the street, everyone. And I think it, I, I, I thought, well, it, it, people are more valuable. They're more strong. They're more resilient. And, and so even unarmed and as hugely incredibly peaceful as the Palestinian people are that Israel is still scared and threatened by them because people are so ingenious and wonderful and amazing. And so 
um, they, in 75 years of occupation, they haven't given up and they, and they are still wanting to, to return to their homes. And, and that is, um, threatening to Israel. It's threatening to the U S, um, governments, um, and I don't quite understand why. And I did see a video that was going to promise to answer that question, but it really, to me, it's like, I just feel comfortable saying I don't agree with it, regardless of understanding exactly why that would be. 